Hello everybody. Welcome to the second part of this module, ICT's integration into TFL. I'm Juan Jose Quintana. I'm your teacher and your learning partner. Let's begin with one essential concept. What do we mean by integration of ICTs into teaching English as a foreign language or TFL? It's basically incorporating technology in order to attain pedagogical objectives in our field as English teachers in a very effective way, maximizing and optimizing students' results. Remember that because that very concept is underpinned by different frameworks and models uh, existing for a long time. The first one and the most important is TISO, Technology Standards for Teachers. It's one of the frameworks we will be studying in this second part. The next one is SUMMER model, Substitution, Augmentation, Modification and Redefinition model created by Ruben Puente Dura. This is one of the most well-known frameworks or models underpinning technology integration into education in general. Needless to say, there are many more. Uh, there is one that has attained to modify the TPAC model and adapt it to English as a foreign language. Remember that the TPAC stands for um, technology, pedagogy, and content knowledge. And there is one that I really like, which has been written by Walker and White, and the book where I got this uh, information is cited at the end of this presentation. What about this framework? This framework has four main goals. And in order to uh, really grasp what uh, this model has to offer, is by saying that the first goal is referred to the very basics of technology acquisition in order to attain our educational objectives. This is the very, very essential step. It's needed, but not enough to integrate technology into our field. The next one, or the next two, are goals two and goals three. They refer to incorporating technology in order to optimize and maximize students' learning and our teaching practice in terms of results, goal two, and in terms of assessment and washback. And technology, I'm talking about goal number three, allows us to improve the way we assess students in a formal and in a formative way, and also to process the results and analyze the existing data. And finally, we have goal number four, language teachers use of technology to improve how we as teachers get connected, work together and cooperate and how, and this is the most important, how we instill that kind of cooperative and collaborative work into our students and the way they learn English using technology. The other model we will be studying in this module is the SUMMER module, which stands for Substitution, Augmentation, Modification, and Redefinition model. Essentially speaking, this model created by Ruben Puente Dura has two main big levels. The enhancement level, which refers to 
how we improve our teaching practice, leaving behind certain traditional practices, and start incorporating technology in order to improve. This is, as I said in a previous slide, essential, but not enough. Because what we should aim at is to transform our teaching practice, to start achieving things which are only possible with the use of technology. And this uh, has to do with transformation. Very uh, briefly speaking, uh, an example of this could be the way we, uh, or the way I, for example, I, I, I started uh, incorporating technology into writing. The first natural thing I did was, okay guys, use a tablet, use a laptop or use a computer to start writing your essays, writing um, your paragraphs, which is great. But the, mo uh, and this is, Substitution. The moment we start telling students, use the grammar correction tool, um, start using those uh, tools that are offered by Microsoft Word, which let you work on the, on, on the paragraph organization, on the margins, and on, on, on many, many, many other features that you can incorporate into your text in order to deliver your message more effectively. This is the moment we attain the augmentation level. But the moment we start telling students, well, now work on a collaborative text, getting groups of two, groups of three, and start working on a text on a collaborative basis with certain guidelines, we start modifying and transforming the teaching practice because this is not possible to attain with a physical notebook. Students could work at a different, at, at a very different schedules in very different moments of the day to start working on a collaborative text. And if we take that text, that shared, that online shared text, and share it with a bigger audience in the world through a blog or maybe we share it with other people or other classes, or we may reference to it through social networks. This is the moment when we start redefining practice because the audience is not the class, it's not the school, it's the world. The sky is the limit. And this is only possible with technology. So this is basically my own experience using the summer model. And I invite you to go through the links and information I posted and prepared for you so you can start uh, getting acquainted with this module. And if you know already what this model is about, you may uh, okay, start uh, getting more information about it. Well, this is the end of this presentation. I hope you enjoy this second part of the module beginning because there are more activities waiting for you, all right? If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.